This guy's a real hillbilly. <laughs> I've known him for years. <laughs> and that's Mr. Phil. Who could forget him? And actually, this is Tristan Law. That's right. He's with ECPW Here, hold wrestlers. that up, baby. Oh. Woo! So yeah, that's me right here in the top right corner yeah. right there. <laughs> don't mess with yeah. him. <laughs> and... Um, I heard, I heard that you had a show, um, a wrestling Saturday. match on Saturday. Yes, we had, a, we had a very big show in uh, Middletown, New York uh, last Saturday. It was at the uh, Middletown Entertainment Venue. Okay. You know, we put about, you know, 250 to 300 people in the building. Wow. You know, we, uh, we were able to give away uh, uh, two. We were able to give away tickets to the next show in Greenwood Lake, which is uh, this Saturday. Oh, wow. You know, it was a good time. You know, it was wow. a really good time. We had an after party down at uh, JD's Sports Bar and Lounge at the other end of the plaza. Oh. You know, it was a good time yeah, for the I fans. Yeah, I didn't get down the there. Wrestlers. I got all the kids and stuff. I couldn't get there. Well, hey, there's oh, always I next time. I know JD's because uh, I've sang there for King James. <laughs> you know King Karaoke. James? Oh, you Karaoke. mean LeBron? That's the only King James I know, LeBron. Yeah. The basketball no, he, player? No, he don't know. You don't know him. LeBron James. He's trying to mess with me, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> No, he's talking about the basketball right, player. Right, LeBron James. <laughs> I don't he, think he's, a he's the best okay, in the world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's great. And so, uh, tell us more about Greenwood Lake. That's this Saturday at what time? Yeah, so th- uh, this Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Greenwood Lake Elks Lodge in uh, Greenwood Lake, New Jersey. Okay. You know, we're telling everybody right now to call for tickets. If they want to call or text, they can call 845 377 Five eight five one for tickets. Okay. You know where it's uh, twelve dollars if they get those tickets in advance. Okay. It's fifteen dollars at the door. Right. But one thing that we're really big with in ECPW Hudson Valley is our veterans. You know okay. we support our military. So That's if you show up, right. with, yep, you show up with a military ID, you're going to get in for eight bucks. Woo! That's wow. a yes. That's very nice. Yep. How about kids? How about uh, kids? Our children? Kids, any kids of all ages. Uh, you know, like f- five and up. Okay. You know, would be the the twelve dollar basic admission. Okay. You know, pretty much you come first, first come first serve. Okay. You sit as close as you can to the action. You know, a lot of people always ask. You know, is this? You know, what's the age limit for kids? It's family friendly. Right. You know, Carl, right. I saw you there with your grandkids. You know, yeah. you know, oh, it's family yeah. friendly. They love it. They go to. I go yeah. watch every single one I can make. Wow. That's there's great. no cussing on the show. There's no nudity on the show. Right. You know, it's family friendly entertainment. That's yeah. great. You know, there are other uh, wrestling organizations within the Hudson Valley, you know, but we don't see ourselves as competition for anybody else. Right. We see ourselves as an alternative for a Friday or a Saturday night. Right. So instead of going to the movies or instead of going out to a party or whatever the case may be, come on over to ECPW Hudson Valley. And you can definitely find us on Facebook because right now we're live on Facebook Live. Oh, are you? Okay, yep, great. they can follow us on ECPW Hudson Valley. And they can keep track of everything that's going on there. That's fantastic. Thank well, you. you know what? It's it's a wonderful thing because you are you're bringing things back that families can do together. And well, uh, this ties in you know, with so. the com- the show that you just did, right? Because I believe in that too. Family bringing the family together, and they have a hot dog and a soda, and uh, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, not only that, but it's reasonably priced. That's correct. You know, I mean. Unfortunately, like you hear about NASCAR and you hear about baseball. Oh, forget and that. How it, it's getting to the point you cannot really enjoy well, that. Well, just with your go kids. go I to mean, a Yankee it's, game it's, and know. see how much it costs. Oh, right, man. exactly. Oh, you better bring your you better bring your first unborn child. Right, exactly. You're up I in mean, death row. When that just... first started, it was be, it became popular because it was something that a family could do for a reasonable right. price. 
and enjoy together. And this yeah. is that's Listen, this, I went on a trip with Benzie to the Yankee Stadium. Right. We were up, I don't know what they call that, death row or when you, you get away. Oh, wow, oh, the, the nosebleed. The nosebleed. Yeah. Nosebleed. Yeah. nosebleed. I'm like, uh, they look row. like yeah. ants down yeah. there. Yeah. Who yeah. is it? That's right. You know, here, and that's the best thing, see, because what we are, they're different. You know, there's not like the big leagues. You know, you got your WWE and your your NXT right. and your yeah. TNA, your Ring of Honor. Right. You know, we're like on the lower level. We're the independent wrestling. Right. You know, what I like about independent wrestling is that it's intimate. Right. You know, it's right. like going to. I agree. It's like going to a bar and seeing your favorite band. Yeah. It's intimate. Right. You can you reach out to this right. because uh, you can reach out and almost touch them. But I, I urge people to not touch the wrestlers. <laughs> I told her the bar is open, not for kids, but. Somebody like her likes a shot of wine once in a while. You only have a shot of wine? You don't have an entire glass? Uh, she drink the bottle. She gets oh, that. No. Yeah. no, no, I'm, I'm a responsible. Listen, we have fun when we go out with her. Forget yeah. about it. Oh, man. Does your wife know? Yeah. yeah she oh, she goes us. too. Yeah, she's okay, as long as your oh, wife knows, Paul. Just you know? don't leave your table because if you leave a sandwich on it, <laughs> <laughs> that's drinking heavy, oh, yeah. man. No, no, we're not that bad. But Lois and I have a great time together. Very good. So, yeah. Very yeah, good. So it's nice. Well, you know, I think that if definitely if you guys all come out to the uh, show this weekend in Greenwood Lake, uh, you definitely have a good time. I don't know if you're going to get any, I, according to the weather. I mean, I'm going to be inside for the whole weekend. She calls me up every show. There's a cloud. Can I go? Well, you know what the thing is, is that I'm... But she's far away. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about, from here, I'm about... So oh, I guess about 25 miles uh -huh. for in, from Port uh, Jervis. Yeah, from uh -huh. in, into PA, and it's She's about up in the climate degrees. area. Yeah, that yeah. belt work. And yeah. What up? What they're you know if they're getting rain here, I'm getting snow. Of course, that makes or sense. Or sleep, which whichever. But the funny thing about the weather is that this this big like super bomb cyclone tornado you know is coming on Friday, and I think they just add words together to cause excitement. And to cause people to go into the stores and buy milk and bread, I don't you know, know, like, I don't like know. when you go to the supermarket right now, it yeah. looks like a going out of business. <laughs> it is, you know, they do, well, they do. but like, where yeah, do you yeah. feel that you have to go buy milk, bread, and yeah, eggs? you're a block right. away right. from right. the place. Like, how yeah. long do you really think you're going to be right. inside right. that you really need that right. many milk, right. yeah, eggs, right. and bread? I, I, I Walmart <laughs> sells all their shovels out every winter. Right. Yes, yeah. What are people doing with them? Yep. Right. Yep. They break them. Yeah, they're cheap ones. Yeah, plastic. But, you know, I have to say it's funny because, you know, I mean, it is unfortunate. I got grandkids. With, I don't need a shovel. With weather is you can't. It's hard to predict sometimes. But I will tell you, they're evacuating in certain areas in Massachusetts mm. along. So, you know, it's pretty serious. Well, I'll tell you this. It's going to be serious on Friday, but uh, our show will be after the aftermath of the, of the storm. Of the storm, Yep, right. it'll be on right. Saturday night. Uh, the storm right. is coming uh, tonight. Into, right into uh into uh friday which right. is tomorrow right so uh saturday night will they'll, definitely they'll have the be roads there. clear yeah they'll we'll have definitely the if they don't have the roads now, clear right. somebody's messing how up. can somebody right. get a hold of you because i gotta tell you port jervis area uh, the ambulance corps needs a fundraiser big time and i was telling about you guys uh, how does anybody here that want to do a fundraiser get a hold of you guys if anybody wants to do There's a fun one now if anybody <laughs> wants to do a fundraiser all they'd have to do is go to ecpw hudson valley uh, Ain't on, you, on Facebook, yeah. and they can go ahead and uh, message us there, or they can even call the ticket hotline 845 377 5851, and they can yeah. leave a message there, and somebody will get back uh, get back to them. But um, we're all about fundraisers, you know, little leagues. Uh, we did some uh, uh, special events over the summer. We went to a summer camp in Monticello. And wow. it was a, it was really cool. It was a surprise. That's great. So we snuck the ring in, and then all the wrestlers came, oh. and it was like at a gymnasium. It was like oh. for the Color Wars in a summer camp. Right. And then right. we started playing the music, and then all the kids came in. It's like, oh my gosh! Oh, they must. You know, yeah. And the best oh, the kids thing, love it. Man. The That's best thing great. about wrestling now. This is a good time for wrestling. The thing about wrestling now versus ten years ago is that wrestling now. It, it it's marketed towards everybody. They're little right. girls that love right. wrestling. Yes, you know I was. True. You're right. I, I was watching uh, some wrestling last night on the WWE Network, and uh, one of the uh, Hall of Famers for 2018. Her name is Ivory. Uh -huh. I see one of her matches from like the 19, 1985 or something like that right. in the AWA, and I'm like, wow, women's wrestling is nothing like that. Right. right. You know these girls. Some of these girls. Yeah. No. It's they're true. just as good, it's if true. not better, than the men. Wow. It, it is amazing, and I, I think it's great. You're right, because there are um, girls, you know, young children um, that
that are interested in because of the fact that now there are, is women wrestling. That's I mean, correct. It's become a very big thing. That's you correct. Know? And which, in my day, no, there right. really wasn't any. And know? in my so, day, when they were growing up, the ladies that, if they, they didn't really wrestle much, they were more there for, like, eye candy. Yes. You know, it was yes. something more for, like, the guys Listen, to look at and right. go, that's you know, as right. you guys would say, yee-haw. Right. You know, There's a lot of girls and ladies in Jersey they out, out drink the guys and kick their butt. Yep. But I love what's I know going that on. For the truth. Yeah. I definitely love what's going on with this women's movement because, you know, I'm also a, a firefighter in, in uh, Middletown. Oh, and, uh, oh one great. And one of the great. things that people say is like, you know, well, do girls do this too? No, they're women. <laughs> and a woman do it too. And yeah. some of them are just as bad, if not badder, right, than the men. Right, than the men. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But definitely, I encourage everybody to come out this weekend and check you us out. You know what you ought to do is bring the, the, the I don't want to call them midget, the little people. And let them wrestle. I mean, if you want your grandkids to wrestle, you know, they just got to be over 18 in New York State in order to wrestle. <laughs> well, let's just go over. So it's 7 o'clock again. That's correct. Greenwood Lake at the Elks Lodge. Elks. Elks. Lodge. It's yep. right in okay. the center of town. Okay. And they can, you can buy tickets at the door. You could buy tickets at the door. But you'll get them at a better price That's if correct. you buy if you them call. in advance. And what's That's that correct. number again? It's 845-377-5851. Yeah, because over here, the Humane Society in Huguenot there, they're looking for fundraisers, too. Well, anybody looking and, uh, for a fundraiser, give that number a call, and we'll see what we can do. You know, we've done fundraisers for uh, volunteer fire companies, ambulance companies, uh, American Legions. You know, we've done it for schools that want to, you know, get a brand new gym floor. Right. You know, we, right. we do different things like that. We cater right. to everybody. One That's thing that great. we also do as well, too, is that we even do birthday parties. Oh, wow. So if you have like a kid and you know, like your son right. or your daughter really and they really love the yeah. wrestling, yes. Oh, that's great. Yes, imagine how cool you would be oh, if yeah. for your son's seventh birthday yeah. he had a he had a wrestling show. Right, because you know all of his friends are into it as that's well. Correct. You know? That's correct. You know, that's correct. That's that's very that's correct. Great. Like forget the clowns, just right. get the wrestling. That's right. Because we have people right. with face paint as well too. Yeah, I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, they wonderful. should hire a really good band to come down, especially in that Middletown gig and have us play for an hour before they even start. Oh, yeah. That's something that you yeah, could uh, look into too. next time. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I'm always looking well. into stuff. <laughs> How yeah. would you compare the sport of wrestling to boxing? Because I know years ago, boxing, when I was You're growing right, boxing up, was was That's faded yeah, was, yeah. out, too, in a way. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah. wrestling is, uh, professional wrestling is pre predetermined. It's entertainment. Yes. You know, obviously, you know, we do hit each other. You know, a lot of people, you like to use that, you know, that F word. You know, but for us, there's no way that you can fake being dropped on a floor. Right. right you know, right, right. You're, there's no like, you know, when they oh, say in a it's boxing a, match, yeah. Right. You know, in a wrestling match. You know, so it's like if you hit somebody with a chair, you don't go to a prop shop and buy a chair. <laughs> no, you go to Home Depot yeah. and buy a chair. The chair wow. is the chair. Wow. You know, but you know, a lot of people say that you know wrestling is hokey and stuff like that. But honestly, the people that say that their kids still believe in Santa Claus. Right. What's the right. difference? Right, right. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, the people that say that, they, you know, and people say to me that wrestling is F blank blank E, I don't like to say the word. Right, But right. when they say right. that it's that, I'm like, so you really believe there's a man swinging around Manhattan in red underwear with right. spider webs coming from his hand? Right. Like, it's entertainment. Right. We know that. Right. This right. is a 1975. Right. It's right. not Showbiz. 1985. It's a show. But the thing is, is that if, if, if it's entertaining and the kids like it and whoever, that's fine. That's then right. they, yeah, that's what what happens is, so. just like the one group I always bring with us, with, with Chuck. Right. They come, the mother and all of them get involved in the whole thing. It starts off, the kids are up on the fence for, you know, the mother and all of them are over there. Right, mm -hmm. right. So you get sucked in. It's right. really right. good entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah, that's this, great. Uh, this uh, weekend I wrestled a young guy by the name of uh, Andy Ray. Uh-huh. Um, Andy's uh, new within the company so you know he said to me you know a couple of weeks months ago hey I'd love to wrestle you I said well if the opportunity comes along I'd like to wrestle you as well too but he doesn't know like you know I'm just this nice guy I'm sitting here you know like this <laughs> yeah, is don't just get like him this is for the God's everyday sake. me but you right, put me right. in you put me in between a ring with, with, with ropes around it yeah. and tell me it's a competition to where I have to win. I'm going to win. Right, right, right. So, right. you know, when he should have zigged, you know, I zagged. Right, right. And right. I was able to beat him. Right. You know, I mean, there was Phil one. Phil said he'd like to come up in the ring, throw him <laughs> around like a ring. Yeah, oh, Phil, whatever yeah. you wanted. You know, I, I gave <laughs> it away from Phil. 
I just want you to know, I give it away for free. Get some shorts. You know, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why Mr. Phil is sitting on that side of the table. I'm sitting over here. No, you put some shorts and stuff on him, a yeah. speedo or something. No, you know, maybe I, we could put. I, maybe we could put, put like that a costume, that Superman costume that we got from Mr. Phil. Yep. There you go. There we go. There you go. Yep. They'll yep. fix you up, good Phil. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Let's get you yeah, in. Yeah. They don't want me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me on there. They hear oh, yeah, enough from me. Go. <laughs> yeah, but um, but it'd be more fun with you, Phil. Yeah. But yeah, you know, so those are some of the things that people say about wrestling. But compared to boxing, boxing is. I think that boxing right now is dying. You know, it, even it like definitely has. Yeah. yeah. Even I, like I mixed agree. martial arts. You know, mixed martial right. arts is dying. Right. You know, like who's the biggest person in mixed martial arts right now? Her name is Ronda right. Rousey. Where is she right now? Right. She's right. in the WWE right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, because they know where the money is. Right. You know, like right. yeah, it's entertainment. It's like Broadway. The lights on Broadway. Well, never they never turn seem off. right once they get knocked out like she did. They never seem. She should come back somehow, but. But, she had but a I mean, if you can house. make if you can make a million dollars, you know, doing wrestling, or you know, you can make less than I like. I remember, I remember in two thousand and nine, you know, the UFC pay per view was the talk of the town. Like, you know, the last non wrestling. Go up there, Phil. The, the last non wrestling event that was very popular was the Mayweather versus. Uh, um, the other guy, the boxing match. That was popular because everybody right. talked about it. Nothing right. else is popular like right. that anymore. You're right. Yeah, it, it's true. I mean, I can't. I can't even t think. You know, well, like in the old. I days. gotta interrupt oh, you a go minute because uh, football. We'll come back to it. Gronk is coming back to my team. He's gonna play again this year. Oh yeah. Oh, oh boy. So even though some people don't like the Patriots, hmm? right. great news right. for me. Anyway. No. We're very good. Well, 845-377-5851. You know, call, text to get your tickets. You know, we would do what we can do to right. accommodate people. Or go on Facebook. Or go on Facebook. Yeah, you can message right. us there at ECPW Hudson Valley. But I think uh, the Hudson Valley fans are really going to want to see uh, Mr. Phil do his uh, scene. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love being shot. All right, Mr. Phil. All right, Mr. Phil's okay. going to do four songs. All right. Excellent.
beautiful oldies. What memories. Just sit back tonight and think back. I bless the day I found you. I want to stay around you. And so I beg you, let it be. Set 
to my shack. You're on the wrong line. Rush down to the house with me. On my feet. Love you like I never loved. You, my sweet, vowed that you and I would be. What memories these songs bring, folks. Thinking back to my childhood and teen days. We'd love to bring those days back. <laughs> okay, one more. Bring that part up and up. <laughs> All right, Mr. Phil. Makes the hair on my neck stand up. All right. So, Mr. Phil, are you like a karaoke singer? Yeah. Okay. I do that all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He goes around the karaoke. Oh, hey, I'm place. a big karaoke guy. Yeah. yeah. I love karaoke. Like, if you need me to sing with you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you, you know, want to get up and sing? Like, in fact, what, I, do you, what I, song do you want to do? Oh, go? man, if you have, like, uh, Huey Lewis in the news and... Oh, I don't know. We got any new ones. We got. Uh, why don't you come up and sing sometime? Bring right, well, bring your disc, would you? Maybe next time. Uh, you know, I'll come out. How and much time? We, we got some time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we didn't we didn't sign up for that. <laughs> I'm sure that they don't all want to see all that today. You know. Well, after the show, she's I'm singing. To oh yeah. Well, after the show, I'm going to bed. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, Friday comes early. I'm 
go on there. Friday does good. <laughs> yeah, bad weather. I'm sleeping in. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah we do it all. Me and my co host, uh, Mary Frost, go out all the time to karaoke. That's your girlfriend? We do our show. That's his co host. That's his co host. Oh, okay. And then, uh, her husband is the producer. She's the uh, co host and director. And then we had out of the studio Shoot. here back to Middletown to the Holiday Inn every Friday night for karaoke. Wow. Okay. When we walk in there, that's when the party begins. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. They love them. They really love them. I remember one time I went to this karaoke bar and uh might have been like Poughkeepsie or whatever the case would be. And there was this guy in there and he was singing. He was on a TV show. I can't remember what it was. But I have it recorded somewhere on my phone or one of my old phones. And uh, I'm not sure if it was you or not. It was probably him. He's but the it was in uh, oh. It was in a bar, and it was like, <laughs> it's somewhere up there in Poughkeepsie. And I can't remember if it was you or not, but that was like the greatest time of my life. They were like, yeah, this guy was on TV, and it might have been you. Yeah, I've been to, I haven't been there very What's often. the name of the bar? Mahoney's. Yes. Ah, yes, that was you. Ah, that was oh, you. Holy yeah. showbiz. Wow, yes. Wow. I remember recording. That's that's right. So, you know, yeah. I, I remember um, my girlfriend, she took me there, like when we first started dating. And there she was like, oh, that's the guy. He comes here every week. Oh he was on God, TV. And so I watched. Funny. I can't remember what you were singing. There was one song that you always sing when you were there. And um, I remember, so I was like, man, funny. this was like the greatest moment of my entire life. Wow. I want to need your autograph when you when I leave. Uh, He'll sign it, please. Because yeah. I heard that you want Jimmy Kimmel and, oh, sure and everything yeah, else like that. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah he's been on everything. Yeah. Well, that's hysterical. And then he has his own show here on Friday nights. Oh, that's, I mean, with my own show... Uh, with the art, I'm booked right through the middle of May. Plus, he's in, we're both in Manhattan and Brooklyn right. and yeah. these both different shows. Right. And, well, that's uh, pretty cool. But listen, we got to get Marty up. Uh, I don't know yeah. if you're staying or not. You can if you want to hear Marty sing. Marty's going to get up and sing. Yeah, all right. I so we got to get everybody in here. Mario. Are you ready, Marty? <laughs> all all right, Marty. We've had, my show's had over 500 bands and singers on it. Oh, wow. How I've many wrestlers layer. have you had? I've had tons. You guys, all through the last five or six years. Good. And uh, I've had Larry Chance and the Earls on. I've had Pete Seeger. I've had a lot of different, you know, celebrities. And, and yeah. Don, Don Orioli. You, if you're around, I'll, I'll invite you to one of his parties. Sure. Mm -hmm. I can invite anybody because I got carb launch. <laughs> he told me that. He said, you got carb launch. Yeah. Invite whoever you want to. They have food in the summer at their parties. Oh my gosh. You can't even. It doesn't stop. The foods. Yeah. Where are the parties at? Oh, it's at his house. Right over is, here. In, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is in New Jersey. I oh, okay. Know, so. You'd love it. But sure. he may be having them now. He bought a, a farm in uh, actually in um, Pine Island, New York. Yep. He might be having the party. Is he going to be holding the parties there from now on? I don't know what he's doing. Sure, yeah. he, he does whatever he wants. He, yeah, yeah, he, he produced the uh, Meat Loaf's first album. Oh, cool. Gloria, Gloria Gaynor's Gainer. first big album. Yeah. He, he's well known. And his yeah, family uh, did Felix the Cat and all them. Oh, really? Casper I got the one Ghost. out there, Casper the Ghost. Elsie the Cow. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah Pretty famous people has. coming through here. You, you know, a lot of people on the you outside would think that a lot it, of yes. famous people are coming in right. and out, but, you know, they're here. I've had the coasters here. That's right. That's right. You know, and I've had the coasters here. I was trying to get Willie here because I opened for Willie Nelson twice. Oh yeah. But there, there he's hard to get because he just pops in, does a show, and then he's gone. Right, all right. But okay. I was on his bus. Yeah. All right. Well, we should. All right, we're gonna go to, to Marty Mr. here Marty before we run out of time. To Marty, Marty Graffone. Yes. All right. Woo! Sing something. Come on, baby. Say something. There Hello. you go, Marty, Marty Graffone. Yes. Looking good. My middle name is Mike, so think about Mike Griffon. Ah! Oh, ah, man. That's ah, digging ah, low. Bada boom. My grandfather's name is Mike Griffon. My father's name is Mike Griffon. My brother's name is Mike Griffon. My son is named Mike Griffon. He hates me for it. <laughs> Here we go. But I never done this with a real live girl. Straight off the farm, 
but an actual arm full of a real live girl. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze fogs up my goggles and buckles my knees. I'm simply the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a somewhere behind the curtain I don't know let's go on we're gonna keep in this little mellow mood you know mr. Phil did a nice little thing with the re recording the singing the old songs I sing old songs too baby you're improbable it won't take long Mountains can be movable if the spirit's strong. You got possibilities, taking a fellow to tell. You got possibilities, let me pay from your shell. Somewhere way down deep in you, there's life. possibilities I got possibilities you didn't know that you thought life was over after you turn 50 and older <laughs> it just gets started believe it or not there's always something you can do let's see what the next song is yeah da -da 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 -da. hey I could tell a joke uh, let's see no I'm not good at jokes ba, ba, ba. hey we're gonna go we're gonna go, here it comes, I know it's coming. <laughs>
Never, never, never. Da 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 da. Let's see, one more for the road. Da 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 da. -da. Let's see. We're always ready to go, go, go. <laughs> That's it. That's enough. Woo! That's it. Nice. Come on over, Marty. I'm coming. Very I'm ready. Nice, Marty. I'm ready Come on over. Fast. We've been talking here about this wrestling match, Greenwood Lake. I lived there 15 years. I know well, tons of people. Now, Marty there. went to your last. Uh, yeah, he last came. Yeah. Well, he went to our last there, show, Marty. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, was there. He was there. Hey, you didn't see me, the tall guy? Yes, sir. Oh, you saw me? Okay, I was in the middle of the ring kicking some butt. Has a belt. <laughs> he likes him too, and then uh, him, and then the, the old timer guy I bring with me, uh, Ted. He's like eighty-one. Oh, he wow. loves it. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad everybody had a good time. I mean, oh. I mean, I know that there's people who've been going to our events, you know, in the past, and compared to now, you know, one of the things that we all got together in uh, the beginning of the year and said that, you know, we're going to do a lot of things differently. We're going to operate the company differently. You know, we're going to make it a lot more friendly. We're going to have better talent on the show. You know, we're going to make it, you know, more fun. You know, we like I said earlier, we gave away six tickets. We put them in envelopes underneath yeah. the chairs. That was a good oh. idea. Yeah, you know. People, yeah, we used people to do that at so, weddings. Yeah, yeah people were excited, you know. Yeah, and we're looking forward to those people coming to see us again, you know, in Greenman Lake this Saturday. That's 
great. That's that's. Are you coming Saturday or you can't? I I don't think so. This my schedule is crazy. But one thing I like is the kids' interactions. How yes. friendly you guys are. The kids love it. Like, you see that kid that didn't want to give me a high five at the end? Yeah. Uh, you know they claimed that I was rude to him. I wasn't rude to him. No, no, no. It's so much excitement. You're right. He was a little bit too excited. Well, so. But I mean, some of the parents are more excited than the kids. That's yeah, what I was just telling them it's crazy. Yeah, that, that, right in front of us, you know, the couple they're going in there, and their kids are you know active, but they're going wild. Wow, wow. Yeah, but if anybody's looking for advance tickets, just call yeah. you know eight four five three seven seven five eight five one, and you can go ahead and get your tickets. They're twelve in advance. Now, are you the commissioner? The me, I'm a wrestler. You saw me in the ring on Saturday. I know, but I don't know who's uh, running everything. You. Who's running it? There's a lot of people behind the scenes running it. ECPW yeah. Hudson Valley is it's a grassroots operation. Everybody plays a part to make the company successful. Yeah. Well, I mean, Everybody. if I can line these up with a couple things, like Green, like uh, up in Ellenville, I actually lined them up with that uh, firehouse. Mm -hmm. So it's like if I can line these up for different gigs. Well, I mean, you could always contact me, and you know, I can. You know, uh, get you have a business right card now or not? No, but you know, you have my information. Did you ever do open air? No. That would be wild. What's open air? Outside. Oh, I've wrestled oh, outside before. I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's like, it, I like it, but I, I, I hate it when I was newer to the wrestling business yeah. because the the, uh, the canvas gets really hot from the sun. Oh, yeah. Oh, now that I'm older in the wrestling business, I don't wrestle as up front in the card. So by the time I get out there, it's, it's a little bit cooler. You Didn't know, you see that little lady push him up on the stage like Elvis? Come on, you one more match yeah. out of here. <laughs> but, you know, we are definitely looking for some opportunities that we can do yeah. uh, in the Hudson Valley this year. You know, even in Pennsylvania, you know, right across the, 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 the border in Milford, mm -hmm. you know, right, you know, we're, we're definitely looking for different opportunities. Or, or right here in Port Jervis, right. you know, we're definitely right. looking for different opportunities, you know, to go ahead and, and, and showcase so you need, our brand. Well, I had a lot of things. Well, I had a lot of right? things set up for Any, you guys. But, yeah, anything uh, that we can do, you know, we're kind. Of, if they, if it's an outside event, you know, we've done uh, street fairs. I've wrestled wow. in uh, in Yonkers, New York, in uh, in a street fair. You know. You know, they could do under the pavilion here in Port, where you where we do the uh, food drive. Is that, well, sure they can. Stage, right? Something to consider. That's yeah. Some, that's they need a, certain space. Well, I had some links for you, know? you but the, the guy who was the commish, I won't mention his name, yeah. messed him up. It's all right. Well, we got some new business people in, uh, yeah. you know, that's He's helping a good guy. This, I don't want to mention so. him. Well, the sky's the limit. Just keep looking. That's them. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. My ultimate goal, and believe it or not, my ultimate goal is for ECPW Hudson Valley to go into the Mid-Hudson uh, Civic Center in Poughkeepsie and sell it out. Oh, you wow. know, like right now, wow. a lot, you know, like two, five, uh, two to five years ago, you know, six years ago, you know, that wasn't something that anybody were thinking of. Right. But now with all the minds, you know, sitting at the helm, yeah. I personally want to see us wow. sell out the <clears throat> Poughkeepsie Mid, Mid Hudson Civic Center. Wow. Because look what we wow. did in Middletown last week. Right. Yeah. Right. How you many know? seats is there at uh, the Mid Hudson? Uh, I was there for a WWE event um, a couple weeks ago. And I would say maybe 500 people could fit in there. Okay, all right. You know, maybe all a little right. bit more. Yeah. Wow. You know, so yeah, I definitely want to sell the place out. Yeah, nice. yeah. You know, get wow. some names on the show and, you know, stuff like that. Right. So, like, ECPW Hudson Valley is where it's going to be. Good. You know, it's, like I said, it's not a competition with any of the organizations or anything right. else out there. Right. But it's an alternative. See, right. I want right. to I want to bring these guys to the high school here as a you fundraiser for our yeah. station. Yeah. Plus, That's something that we can do. Right. They definitely have the space. It's cool. Yeah. Well, you yeah, play in the yeah. auditorium. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, wow. if somebody's looking, if the if the high school's looking to host, you know, your fundraiser and you need us, you know, mm -hmm. I, we can see what we can do. But, you know, before we get to any of that, we definitely got to get through Greenwood Lake. And that's right. the Saturday. <laughs> Greenwood Lake, get down there. There we go, yeah. At the Elks Lodge in Greenwood Lake. 7 o'clock. Yep, we'll be there. And I'll be there even if they don't. Mention my name. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was a mistake. We'll mention your name this time. You I know, am for, a big ham. We got to tell everybody. For, you know, for, <laughs> not for nothing. For what? For you know, not for nothing. Like Carl allows us to come on his show and promote our product. You know, and stuff like that. Like Carl doesn't have to let us come here. You know, I understand it's a variety show and it's different topics right, right. and things. But you know, I definitely appreciate. Well, I believe in this. I really do. We got I, your posters all over the place. Yeah, yeah I see yeah, it here in the yeah, studio. Yeah, we do. Outside. Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I just heard that uh, Mr. Phil might come and sing uh, the national anthem. 
No, oh. not the national anthem. Not the national anthem. This no, is an no. original. Or an Will original. Will Santol America. Oh, that's okay. Right. Yeah. It's okay. A, it is a great. You know, because obviously, yes. like I said, we do support you know the United States and 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 our military, our armed forces. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so that'd be something good, a good addition. Be. You know, and, and like I said earlier, you know, if you show up to the door of the show of Greenwood Lake this Saturday at the Elks Lodge, you know, with your military ID, whether your spouse, you know, um, or active or or retired or veteran, you know, you're going to get in for eight bucks. For that fantastic. ID. That's fantastic. Aww. <laughs> Next time. Not veterinarian. <laughs> Not a veterinarian. A veteran. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, this gentleman here might come to our telethon, the karaoke telethon. Cool. Oh. Yes. Yeah. He sings. Yeah. I do yeah. a lot of things. I, the only thing I don't do is tap dance. Oh, oh there you no. go. <laughs> She's a tap dance teacher. <laughs> you can do that up in the ring. Hey, right? I could be a there tap dancing go. wrestler. That's I'm okay right. with that. Yeah. Soft shoe. No, never ballet. Soft shoe. That's the way right. the ring soft is, it'll be soft shoe. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. You're always welcome here. Yes. And, uh, and we thank you for coming, actually. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, I thank you guys for allowing us to uh, uh, to be on Facebook Live on our ECPW Hudson Valley fan page on, on, on oh, Facebook. Right. Plus, yeah. you air here. Right. Tonight, you'll be on after my show. That's correct. Right. You guys Count air. Their right. matches. Right. And then on Saturday night, you'll also air here. Yep. Oh, yep. Right. So, Channel 23 on Spectrum, you know, is in the Hudson Valley is where we show. You know, you can watch our shows. You know, I had a, 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 a live camera crew come and take care of us this Saturday. It was uh, uh, on three productions. Oh, wow. And they definitely took care of all the video for us. Uh -huh. And I had uh, some videographers there, I mean, uh, photographers there as well. Wow. Um, I had a DJ there to play the music and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of favors that I called in. Right. But it seems like On3 Productions is going to be the company that's going to be uh, taking care of us in the future. Uh -huh. When it comes to the video, you know, it's going to make, relieve the burden from a lot of people that were doing it before. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's going to add, um, you know, a different element to it. Like these guys went to school. For that, for so that. they're doing us a favor. Right. So all they're asking us to do is just give them a little bit of promotion. So, you know, something that's that we a can great, definitely you know, do. One hand well, sometimes you bring them down here attention. and we'll introduce them and stuff. Sure. Yeah. And they get promotion for that. Sure. You know, they do weddings and they do everything else like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that we're definitely <laughs> going to put up in uh, on our posters. Yeah, that, and that young man was going around the ring and filming. Yes. That was, he was doing a great yes, job. Yes. That that's that's the owner. That's the one. He that's one of the owners. Great job. I know the angles. Mm -hmm. He knew how to wow. do it. Yep. Wow. And I didn't even know that a, room was back there. Yep. And he's never shot a wrestling show before. Wow. Well, he was active. He was on the move. Yep. That was great. Wow. Yep. So, yeah. wow. so our wow. shows come here <clears throat> on, on <clears throat> Channel 23 on Spectrum in the Hudson Valley. They also come on YouTube, but we also want to start to re-release the episodes as they come out. Well, you're also in uh, on, on Spectrum Facebook. in over in Hudson Valley, yes. too. Yes. Yes. Here is basically just... Uh, Port Jervis area live shows, and then we're on Frontier, Frontier. also. So you're gonna see right. all over on That's Frontier. Right. Wow, so I'm like I'm like famous, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you and see me in the yeah. street, you yeah. know. And then Ed, I got Ed on, I got Ed on Spectrum over in Middletown, and then I got the, the head guy. Is his name Tony? The head guy. Gino. 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 Sorry, Gino. Have his picture. I got him in Manhattan. Oh, good. Very good. Oh. So. Very good. Gino does some very good things. You know, he used to wrestle for uh, for uh, WCW, and he was in ECW, and you know, he's done a lot of different things, oh, and wow. he knows a lot of different people. So I think that's going to be a very big advantage when it comes to uh, doing the wrestling show at the at the um, Poughkeepsie Mid Hudson Civic Center. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a lot of connections with uh, with some of the uh, stars that are still active. Right. You well, know? look, we got three that's minutes great. left here. Yeah. This is what you got to go see. Greenwood Lake, it's easy to find. It's right in the right. center of Greenwood Lake. Yep, it's at the Elks Club. Lodge. Right. You know, so if you contact 845-377-5851, you can go ahead and get your tickets. You know, if we're unable to get you the ticket, get the tickets to you, we did a will call at the last show where you just showed up and you gave me your name and the tickets were right there for you and you paid oh, the yeah. discounted price oh, instead of the great. advanced price at the door. Because, you know, we're, we're here for the family. We're not right. trying to right. beat anybody up in their wallet or their purses right. or anything That's like wonderful. that. That's but great. definitely, I, I want to thank you guys for having us here oh, on the show welcome. today. You know, and I'm sure that our fans are going to be able to watch this or are going to be, oh, gonna be, you know, glad that well, we're here. Well, that's right. all over Facebook by tonight, probably, yeah. too. So. Yeah. Well, we want to say thank you to everybody, Manhattan, Brooklyn, right? Yeah, Give that's a right. shout out to everybody. Benzie, uh, Benzie's Benzie, coming Benzie, with the Cub Benz. Scouts, too. Oh. Is he coming oh. with the Cub Scouts? Yeah. Oh. Very good. So the Cub Scouts oh. will be there. If they, 
I just want to say if they bring the cookies, but that's the Girl Scouts. But you know, like I should stay away from the cookies. So we're well, they're bringing Benzie. Cookies. He's a cookie, <laughs> <laughs> but he's still tied to my show too. Yeah. But yeah. he's got family things, and Donna said, right. "Yeah, I'm doing this crazy I'll nonsense." In, yeah. And I said, "Great, we'll have a lot of fun." Yeah. Very good. You know, so we're gonna have a good time. Yep, it's gonna be a good Greenwood time. Greenwood Lake. Yeah. Yep, and, right. then, and then we're gonna usher our way into uh, Newburgh. Newburgh. Oh, there and then you go. the Newburgh. So you gotta right. follow these guys, and they'll yeah, tell you yeah. at the match. Uh, it's going to be the end of the month. You know, it, that the, the, the Los Central Cobblers, those are the number one contenders for the Hudson Valley uh, Tag Team Championships. Whoa. They're going to wrestle uh, uh, Heavy Impact, which are the current champions, uh, in a Newburgh street fight. Those mm -hmm. two guys, the Los Central Cobblers, they're hometown Newburgh guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, we're going to say right. goodnight here. Right, Mr. Good night, Phil everybody. will be singing the patriotic song down for this match. And want to thank Mr. Phil and Marty Griffon. Oh. Thank you for coming on the show tonight. Well, how about this gentleman? Tristan Law. Tristan Law, thank yeah. you so thank much. You very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Get out we and see it. it. Do we do a yee on the way out? Yeah, we can do a yee Yeah. yee Good night. Good night. We're done. We're done. This country and all his are singing, singing when the sun goes down. He had all the answers about the way things ought to be. Some folks came to listen, some folks couldn't see that there's pain in his fingers, pain in his heart. Yeah.